The use effect hook in React has a special function called a cleanup function. And the purpose of this function is to clean up side effect when a component is being unmounted, which is a very, very recommended practice when building applications with React. So in this video, I'll be showing you some examples here so you can see how this cleanup function works. I can also see why using this cleanup function is a good practice. I have my app component. In this app component, I'm managing states for show. And I have this button. And when you click on this button, it will change show to true if you click on it again it changes it to false here I conditionally render this child component when the show state is true now for the child component this is where I'm using use effect using use effect and then here I return an h2 child now let me comment this interval in this use effect let's just see our basic react application so when you click on toggle show becomes true the child component is rendered you click on toggle again show becomes false and the child component is unmounted from the DOM. Now let me add this interval back. What I'm basically doing in this interval is I have my i variable which by default is zero then I set interval and the callback function in this interval is console log hello hyphen and the value of the i variable then I increase the value of the i variable here and this interval runs every one second. Once I click toggle the chart component is mounted as it is mounted this use effect is run and you can see here in the console we have hello zero hello one hello two. Now the problem with this this is that if I click on toggle again this child component is unmounted but you can see that the interval on the right is still running as the child component is unmounted this side effect it is not needed anymore as the component is not there and this is where you use the use effect cleanup function to clean up this side effect now how do you use the use effect cleanup function well all you have to do here is return a function you can either return an arrow function or a regular function and then in this function you can clean up side effects that are now unwanted. Now this function would be called when this child component is about to be unmounted from the DOM. And to quickly check that, we can do console.log, hey, I'm leaving the DOM. Currently show state is false. If I click on this show state becomes true, our interval side effect is triggered. Now once I click toggle again, you can see that this is called before the component leaves the DOM. But then it has left the DOM, our side effect is still running. Now this use effect cleanup function is similar to what you have in class components here you have components will unmount and in this will unmount you can declare code that will be executed when a component is about to be unmounted so this is similar to the cleanup function in use effect now coming back here we can now assign the returned id from this interval to a variable called interval id and then in this cleanup we can now say clear interval and then we pass the interval id what we are doing here is when the component is about to be unmounted we stop the this interval from executing. Now let's start afresh. Once you click on toggle, the set interval is triggered, our side effect is running and it's running. Click on toggle again, it's unmounted. Hey, I'm leaving the DOM. I can see our interval now stops. So this is how you use this cleanup function to clean up side effects in your React applications when using use effect. And this is an example using set interval, but there are also other examples where you should clean up side effect. You can also clean up side effect created with set timeout or in the case where you you are creating a web socket in a component as you are on mounting that component from the DOM you can close that socket or also in the cases of subscribing to events in the DOM you have probably seen this somewhere where somebody has something like elements dot add event listener and in this listener they have a callback function and then what they do in this cleanup function is they do something like elements dot remove event listener and they also pass the callback function so what they're doing here is cleaning up this side effect now coming to this case of set interval let me show you why cleaning up side effect is very important now let's say i remove this line here when you click on toggle side effect is triggered the interval is running when you click on toggle the chart component is removed but the side effect has not stopped now watch what happens when i click on toggle again when i click on toggle again you can see hello zero hello one hello two what's happening now is two intervals two interval side effects are currently running and if you toggle this and toggle this back Back, now you're going to have even three intervals running. So clean up side effect is very important because it allows you to avoid memory leaks or performance problems that can occur in your application when something is running repeatedly. I hope this video helps you understand how the use effect cleanup function works and why this function is very important when building applications in React. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with others and subscribe for more React videos like this. And I will also recommend checking out more React videos that I have on my channel.